because these are supposed to be highlighters, but they're more like Tipexes. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome to another new video, the second video of 2018. In this video, I want to talk about the best and worst project, project, pro projects. We are going to talk about the best and worst products of 2018. And I know like it's, it's kind of late, but that's because you girl didn't really do anything for like the whole week and like a bit between Christmas Eve and New Year's. I didn't do nothing. And then the last couple of days I have been planning a trip. I'm going to Korea for a whole month. So, you know, that takes a little bit of planning. So that's what I've been doing. That's where I've been gone. Let's stop that. Let's put last year into review so that we can move forward into next year, this year. Let's just get straight into it. I have way more favorites than I have dislikes because I have this habit, you know, if I don't like something, I'll throw it away or I'll give it away to somebody that does like it or I'll mysteriously lose it and not care because I don't like it. So I can't really remember the products I don't like so well. So the ones I don't like are a lot more recent. I probably found out I didn't like them in like November, December time. And the products that I do like span way back into like January. So I liked them. I stuck with them. I repurchased them. They are my true faves. I love them forever. So let's jump straight into it. The best products is this firstly, what, what is happening to my English right now? First best product is a true dark horse no one was expecting it. I was completely blindsided. Oi! It's the Primark Curl Cream. <laughs> Two pounds a pop. Does contain silicones. Does contain a whole bunch whole of bad, bunch of bad stuff. stuff. Does contain dimethicone. It's not good for me, but you know, not everything in life is. I just really like this. I think it does wonders for my curl definition. I will probably regret it soon when my hair starts to dry out. You know, I'm living in the moment. I like having defined hair. This does it for me. And it's really, really inexpensive. I just think to anybody who is looking for a very, very affordable curly hair routine, this absolutely does wonders. I don't know what my hair is doing. I'm really gonna regret this in editing. I'm gonna look at my face and just hate it. And this top too is really ugly. The next one is on the complete opposite end of the spectrum in terms of curly hair care and it's the floor and curl hair mist so this one is fully curly girl approved no nasties no silicones no parabens no sulfates no mineral oil no farts not got anything bad in it at all it's a hair mist it's very very lightweight and it's just for moisturizing really it smells divine i love it spritz some of this on it and it really just moisturizes your hair on those days like in the winter when you don't want to have really wet hair for a long time sometimes you can get away with just using the hair mist the next one i kind of forgot about it because it's been so long but it's definitely a 2018 thing and it's the pacifica pineapple curls line i love this line both of these by the way are cruelty free this one is cruelty free completely vegan it has hyaluronic acid it's just a really really stunning line it does wonders for my hair. It treats it really well. It gets it looking good. It just smells amazing. It smells like pineapples, but kind of like a gummy sweet pineapple, not a fresh pineapple. But if you're not into the whole candy scent vibe, then you might not like it because it's very, very sweet smelling, but I love it. This was just a really, really good product for 2018. We were so lucky. We were blessed with this product in 2018. I you know what this one, and I'm only mentioning this because I saw it on my stand and I realized I was using it all year long, pretty much. It's the Coconut Curling Cream from Cantu. And and this one is just another great styler, like curl definer that you can use in your wash and go, but you can also use it to refresh your hair with just a spritz of water. I don't think it's anything new. I may have even mentioned it in my last year's one, like my last year's best products. Pretty inexpensive. You can find it in most shops. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens or mineral oil. Oh, and I always get compliments. Whenever I have this in my hair, I always get compliments about my hair. People always say, your hair smells so good. Or what's that really nice smell? Is that your hair? And it's always this. It smells like coconut, but also like fruit and tropical you know we're gonna talk some skincare so you guys know in 2018 I definitely had a lot of a skin glow up this whole season while I've been eating I've been eating just junk and cakes and chocolate like there's no tomorrow there's no consequences literally just been like shoveling it in my mouth sweets 
the cakes, the chocolate, I want it all. Mince pies, give it to me. You know, that's literally how I've been thinking the last month. It's wrecked my skin, honestly. The sugar has wrecked my skin, but not taking that into account. Like if you think about all of last year, I really, really glowed up my skin last year. I think it's all down to this skincare routine that I had. It started with the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Alcohol Cleansing Gel Wash. What do you even call it? I knew this was gonna work because it contains salicylic acid, which does wonders for my skin. I just cleanse my face with this morning and night. Gets my face looking right for most of the time when I'm not abusing myself with sugar. Then I have this moisturizer. This is the Olay Total Effects 7 in 1. Mine is SPF 30, but I do think there is also an SPF 15 version. I just love the SPF 30 version because I don't want to be getting burns. I don't want to be getting wrinkles. I don't want my acne scars to get too much sun exposure because it can make the scar worse. It can like really intensify the pigmentation and it can become a permanent scar from the sun. So I need that SPF 30 in my life. And this is just a really good way, nice little package of getting it all in one. And it also did not break me out either. So, you know, <laughs> just perfect, good product. This little guy is probably the winner. Like this in my book wins all of the skincare product awards of 2018. It is the skincare angel, the skincare wish. It is salicylic acid cream. So you know I said that salicylic acid does wonders for my skin. Well this is like a very concentrated salicylic acid. It also has tea tree oil in it which is another good thing that's very good for my skin. Literally just put this onto the areas that are affected. So it's usually my jawline, my chin. That's where I get breakouts. So I just use this every single day and it really minimizes my breakouts and helps me recover so quickly. I cannot stress this enough. This is the product. The product of 2018 everybody. This is the one. Next skincare winner of 2018 is hyaluronic acid. I honestly think any variant of hyaluronic acid will do because this is literally just hyaluronic acid. I'm sure there are lots of brands that do it but this one is from The Ordinary. I do really like The Ordinary's products because they are just very simple they tell you exactly what is in there so I've been using this on my skin sort of as a serum for moisturizing and I just think it really helps to keep my face moisturized not look dried out and prevent aging. Hyaluronic acid definitely had its day in 2018 it had a lot of hype a lot of support around hyaluronic acid and I'm glad it did because it's a really good little ingredient that has great benefits for your skin so hyaluronic acid so for this next one I pulled it out of my drawer right now and honestly I wasn't sure if it was 2018 for me because I was like it looks so old it looks so beaten up I should probably throw it away because this product is surely like three years old then I realized I did get it last year I got it in February last year so it's technically a 2018 product for me it's to me <laughs> who is this even by this is I think it's Ofra or rubbed off this is the glow goals which I think is a collaboration between Ofra and Nikki's tutorials so it's glow goals and it's a highlighter I always wear this and I always get asked what highlighter I have used. Nine times out of ten it's the Ofra Glow Goals. That's why it looks so tatty hilarious. So the next product that I love in the makeup category is the Fenty eyeliner. I can't remember what it's called and I can't show you because sadly I lost it on like my second day of owning it. Literally I had it and I was like this is the best eyeliner of my life. No smudge, so easy to apply, like so smooth, perfect for a winged eye. I was obsessed with it. I took it out with me. I topped up my eyeliner while I was out, left it somewhere, never saw it again. Then another one of my fave lip products is gonna be the Sleek Lip Shots. It's the love shot. <laughs> it's a lip shot. Does anybody know that song? If you know that song, comment it down below. Lip shot. So these are from Sleek. They're like high gloss, high shine, high intensity lip colors. Exactly what I like. I don't think I, I don't even have it on today, but this is what they look like. I think I have like four colors. This is the dressed to kill. Like you can see how pigmented that is. This one is called Corrupted and it's over there. The Primark Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. This one I think just performs so much better than anyone expected it to. When on the days where I do wear makeup, then on those times I'm usually wearing this. So this is like a very, very, very common thing for me to wear. And who would have thought it? You know, it's a Primark product, very inexpensive, like definitely not one of the forerunners of the makeup world. Definitely a lot of like prejudice against it, people looking down on it, but I love it. Like honestly, this product, I love it a lot. Like I think it's a really good product. Let me swatch this one for you. You can see it. I can see it all the way back from here. Just has like an incredible glitter 
shine and it's like soft glitter too like the particles of glitter to me are the perfect size not too big not too small mm. Mm. now i have my worst products of 2018 so the first one is this it's a lip color it's from eborian and i really really wanted to like this so eborian is a makeup brand it's korean skincare they call themselves a parisian korean blend so they ventured into makeup they made the sweet poppy color pen which i believe was inspired by some korean makeup trends but i just don't understand it like I really wanted to like this because it was such a sweet color. Like it was a lovely corally color and it looked like it was gonna be a tint and it's gonna be really nice and soft. But it has like this little nib, which doesn't make very much sense because it doesn't roll. So the color comes out of it kind of sporadically. So you don't get an even application with it. And I mean, look, did you see that just then? I mean, do I, if I press down hard, I can get a lot. And then it's like this. But then it goes dry like this the little nib does not help you to apply it the little nib just like spreads it out and makes it look gives you lines and then so i guess you should dab it with your finger but then if you're gonna dab it with your finger then what's the point of the nib and then you dab it with your finger and then the application is very patchy it's kind of sticky like i feel like something this sheer and this liquidy should not be so sticky because then when it's sticky then it starts peeling skin off of your lips and it makes your lips look even drier than they were if you did have dry lips it dries out lips that weren't even dry i don't know i really wanted to like it but that's the sweet poppy color pen from eborian you don't need it you don't need it in your life the primark glow drops because these are supposed to be highlighters but they're more like tipexes. They rub everything out, they rub your foundation off, they dull any shine. These are like matte. Like what kind of the formula for these is just so off. I feel like that must have been a really rushed product. I don't even know if it got tested because I don't know how you can call it double dimension. The glow drops, there's no glow. It's a no from me. So that is my best and worst products of 2019. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe if you did because we are walking into 2019 holding hands. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your favorite and worst favorite products. Worst favorite? Do I even know English? I don't think I do. <laughs> Tell me in the comments what your favorite and least favorite products of 2018 were. Were there anything that like made you break out? Gave you an allergic reaction? Um, made your hair fall out? I don't know. Did that happen? If that happened, please let us know. Please warn the family. I will look forward to reading those comments. Get me on Instagram because I love chatting to you guys over on Instagram and maybe Twitter if you feel like listening to me rant about things sometimes. So that's everything and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Yay! I'm so happy to be filming again! Yay! <laughs> Bye! Summer, summer, summer